Hi friends and happy French Friday to you. We are going to be heading outdoors today. I have a French find to share with you. We are also going to be spray painting that French find outside. So let's do this. Okay guys, here it is, my French find. I just absolutely love this. This It's metal and it actually looks um, probably smaller than it actually is because when I purchased this on Facebook Marketplace, when I saw the picture of it, I thought it was actually um, a lot smaller than what it actually was in person. So it's, it was a lot larger than I thought it would be. And I just love this. Um, I was so excited when I found this. And um, it was only $10, guys. So what a bargain, right? Um, so especially for its size, it's, it's very large. So um, I'm going to be spray painting this black and then showing you where I end up uh, putting this. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Real quick here, I forgot to mention, guys, I will be using this Walmart brand uh, Color Place uh, Interior Exterior Spray Paint. It's in a flat black. I went back to Walmart to try to get more and they, had, they were completely out of the flat black color and they only had the glossy. So I ended up um, getting a couple of these, this Rust-Oleum brand. Um, and it's a two times ultra cover in the ultra matte black. So I'm gonna be using, um, just gonna be using up the rest of this cause I already had the Walmart paint um, from another project. So I will use this first and then I will be covering it um, with this in the ultra matte black. And I think this hopefully will be um, a lot better coverage because um, it's supposed to be uh, paint plus the primer. So hopefully we'll get some good coverage with this and I won't need more than what I purchased, hopefully. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Okay, guys, here is my France sign all finished. And as you can see, it's still a little bit tacky where the shiny, glossy spots are. Once it's completely dry, it will be the flat black. And I end up bringing it in though because for time purposes and wanting to get this video out for you guys. But um, in this Louisiana heat and humidity, it just is not drying um, very quickly outside. So I had to bring it in to finish drying. So for now, it sits on my shelf in my living room and it can also be hung but um hope you guys enjoyed this video okay guys now i want to share with you a dollar tree diy project here that I have already started. Um, I took a Dollar Tree sign, like this one here, and I'm making it a French sign out of it. And so what you will need for this project is a black Sharpie marker, um, some kind of a paintbrush, whatever size you'd like to use. And then I'm using this Waverly chalk paint but you can use any paint that you have on hand and whatever color you'd like to use it in. And then I purchased these as well, this glitter glue. And um, you can find those in most stores and in craft stores and Dollar Tree and um, things like that. So whatever colors you'd like to use um, is all up to you. And you just need a Dollar Tree sign. And I already had these two um, and I didn't, need one that said imagine and I can't remember what this this was a different one but I just thought um, I wanted to turn them into more of a French country uh, sign for myself because that will go along with my home decor um, that I have in my home so whatever it is you know you can paint these and change them uh, use stencils on them or you can freehand paint something on them so it um, is all up to your imagination. 
imagine uh, what you can do. There's so many different things you guys can do with these signs and they're only a dollar. So it's a fun and really inexpensive project. So let's go ahead and get started here. First of all, um, I've already painted this one white and then what I did was use the black Sharpie marker to go along the edges. That's why you'll need a little Sharpie marker. You could also use black paint. If you'd rather use black paint, you can do that. And I've already painted this one white and then I just used my um, dark black glitter glue here to um, do the bonjour on there. And um, you can use any color, like I said, um, for this type of project. But what I love was that this just naturally crackled. I didn't add anything to that to make it crackle. It just naturally did that. And I was so pleased with how that turned out. I thought that looked really good. So I love that look. And um, all right, guys, we're ready to get started here. Okay guys, it is starting to crackle, so I just wanted to show you that really quick. You can see the crackle effect going on here. And then I, I don't know if I mentioned, but uh, it is a canvas um, sign that I purchased at Dollar Tree. So any of their canvas signs would work to do the same thing with. I just um, am using two that I already had around my house. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and start distressing the edges with the Sharpie marker. And it's so simple, guys, to do. It's just going along and marking where you want it to be distressed. So it's as if we sanded the edges and letting that black paint show through. And you could do that too if you would rather, or you could use black paint instead of the black marker, so whatever you prefer. Okay guys, I have placed a stencil on top of my bonjour sign, and I'm going to be doing a French B um, design over top, and I thought I would just add a little something to it. And I'm going to be using this antique gold paint that I purchased in the craft department at Walmart. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, laying my French stencil down using a different part of it, I am going to go ahead and um, stencil with using um, my black paint. Uh, with, I already have it on my sponsor, ready to go. So here we go. Okay guys, here is my sign. I've done um, two French words here in the uh, glitter, with the glitter glue. And so I have um, my thank you sign here in French and my hello sign in French. And I'm really happy with how they turned out. I'm thinking about adding one more stencil to this one in front of me here, but um, I cannot really add anything more to it. Um, the one I wanna do, I'm afraid it's going to uh, the one I want to do right here. I'm just afraid it's going to, um, my stencil will lay on the wording there and mess up. Um, it takes quite a while for this to completely dry. So um, the glitter glue takes longer than, than the regular paint, um, which this is um, dries really fast with using my regular paint here, but um, on the stencil part, but this part is going to take a little while to dry, guys. So um, I'm gonna let that dry 
and come back and try to add my other stencil in a little bit. But you can see here how this is just crackled up so nicely. I just love, love that. It just really gives it an aged look. And like I said, I didn't have to do anything. This just crackled up like that all on its own. And so I'm really pleased with how that's turned out. And I love how the stencil, the French B stencil here turned out on this sign. So I'm really pleased with how that turned out. And uh, I'm glad I did this sign in advance because then my glitter glue was able to dry because it does take quite a while for that to set up and dry. So I was able to do that stencil right over that. All right, guys, so I'll be back. here it is all finished I'm actually not going to add the other stencil that I wanted to to this sign because it was messing up uh, my French wording that I already had put on here on this sign so I don't want to mess that up it's still wet and uh, it'll probably take a while for that to dry and for time purposes I want to go ahead and get this video edited and uploaded for you to watch so I will be adding that later to this sign, but I think it looks cute as is as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really inexpensive, cheap DIY sign that you can make and put any kind of wording on there that you'd like and any paint colors that you'd like. So I think it's a great idea and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So until next time, bye-bye.